Local performers are getting ready to hit the stage at the upcoming music festival Cluster Folk on July 30th and 31st. Jessica and Matt are the organizers and creators of Cluster Folk and are here to tell us about it today. What is Cluster Folk? Well, it's just like a free community event we're by the people for the people. We sort of wanted to focus more on young artists who are just sort of up and coming. And it gives them a platform to sort of, sort of show their work? Yeah, exactly. They can sell CDs or merchandise or whatever, or just get their name out, really. And why did you guys start Cluster Folk? Uh, we noticed a really big lack in venues for folk musicians. It's definitely something that we were interested in seeing and a lot of our friends are musicians as well and they didn't have a lot of places for them to play music. We wanted to sort of create a place in the community where folk music would be appreciated and really get the word out that there are a lot of folk musicians in the city. And who are some of the performers that you have on the schedule this year? Well, this year we've expanded to two days, so we're going to have a lot more performers. We have people here today, we have Greg Callahan, uh, Renee, we have the Night Owl Meme Makers, and Kylie Pusepa. So Cluster Folk has grown to two stages, and now in its second year, how else has it grown? Well, we've definitely seen a lot more community support. Uh, we've definitely grown in the number of bands, and just a lot more people helping us, a lot more people being interested in us. Uh, we've had a lot of people contact us, whereas last year we found that we had to go out a lot, and just a lot more people wanting to be involved. And you guys are young organizers of this festival. How do you think that has benefited it and made it maybe more unique than other festivals happening in the Sioux? I don't know, we're not really looking to uh, achieve anything for ourselves. We're more looking to just give the artists something to do, something to help showcase their talents. Um, we're partnered with the Arts Council of Sault Ste. Marie and District as well as the Youth Association. I definitely think they took an interest in us because of our youth um, and that's why they wanted to help us. Um, as well as a lot of young musicians I think identify with us. One of the most rewarding things has definitely been the feedback we've gotten from the bands, how everybody has really uh, just been excited about last year, excited about this year, really wanting to get involved. And it's been rewarding for me personally to um, have that extra interest this year because it shows that people enjoy what we're doing and that what we're doing is a good thing. Renee is performing in the festival for the first time this year. How did you get involved with Cluster Folk? Um, well, it's just with the local music scene. I saw it advertised on Facebook. Um, I was actually asked last year to do it, but unfortunately I couldn't because I was working and I was out of town. It just didn't work out. But um, this year, fortunately, I had the opportunity to do so, so. And what are you most looking forward to being a part of? Um, I think just getting, I've never really played it before, so just getting to see all the different local musicians. I live in Ottawa now, so there's been a lot of new bands that have formed throughout the year, so it's kind of cool to see what's happened since I left, so. Kylie will be on stage at the festival as well. What can people hope to see at your performance? Uh, an array of originals to uh, some Gnarls Barkley covers, to some Dolly Parton, and just uh, a bunch. Of, I'm pretty eclectic in my performances. <laughs> and is this your first year at Cluster Folk? No, my second. Uh, I luckily Jessica and Matt asked me back, so I'm pretty excited. It'll be hopefully next week. And what was your experience like last year? It was great. I actually played with the Missy Mays, a friend of mine, Rochelle and Kathy. But this year I just decided to go out on my own and just do a little more original stuff. And what are you hoping to gain from this year? Uh, hopefully I'll have some merchandise and maybe put out some cards and get a little more, some more fans and people following and just get my name out there. What do you think festivals like this are good for Sault Ste. Marie? Uh, it's free, it's fun, it's for families. It's something that we don't have a lot of. A lot of our like music, you have to go to Sudbury, you have to go to Toronto, it's this much. It's for cluster folk, you go to Bellevue Park, you hang out for the day, you bring a couple snacks and you know you have great performances, so I like it. To check out the huge lineup of local talent being featured at Cluster Folk, head to the band shell at Bellevue Park on July 30th and 31st. Reporting for Shaw TV, I'm Jasmine Pozo.